After Daenerys and Jon reach Winterfell, Jaime Lannister, who killed the father of Daenerys and Viserys to prevent him destroying King's Landing, also arrives at the Stark ancestral home. He is brought to a meeting with Daenerys, Jon, and their allies, where Daenerys tells him about the story Viserys told her when she was a child, about the man that murdered their father and what they would do to Jaime if they had the chance. However, following Jaime's pledge to help the fight against the Night King, Daenerys accepts his offer to join her forces, as they need every man they can get in the Battle of Winterfell. Following the battle at Winterfell, Daenerys and her allies go south to fight the Battle of King's Landing, during which Daenerys destroys most of the city despite its surrender, against the wishes of Jon and many of her other supporters. After the battle, Daenerys approaches the Iron Throne in what remains of the Red Keep. When she sees Jon enter the ruins of the throne room, she tells him that when she was a girl, Viserys told her the throne was made from the swords of a thousand of Aegon's fallen enemies. The subsequent end of Daenerys shares some echoes with the end of Viserys. They are both killed before either is crowned or can sit on the Iron Throne itself and both believe they have achieved what they wanted moments before a former supporter strikes the fatal blow. However, in contrast with Daenerys's assassination, for which the tone was depicted as tragic, satisfaction was taken in Viserys's demise by Khal Drogo, 